I want to talk about something very serious that goes on in the world. And people are seeing the truth. I've already done my research. I know what's going on with me. And I know what people are pulling. And I know who's getting paid. Now, if you do your research, you'll understand why I take this stuff so seriously. This is why people should protect their families at all costs. Because stalking is just being nosy. And then it turns into gang stalking. And then it turns into organization to where people are trying to kill you and trying to take you out or trying to come after you pretty much hunting you down and then a lot of people don't understand that when there's gang stalking and people are constantly following you that is technically sex trafficking a person you are constantly dealing with people that are following you they will start on you they will even threaten to kill you. And this is what happens when you deal with a very bad situation. Now, I know I've been doing my research. I've been watching certain videos out there. And this gang stalking program is real. And if this is actually caught... And people are waking up to what I am showing and what I am saying. The police can actually go down. The FBI would get more charges. And the CIAs would get federal charges for whoever they are getting involved. Now, this is what I'm saying though. The dirty policemen will help out these people and will not help you. This is where it's going to become a problem. I can prove that people are gang stalking me. I can prove that people are not leaving me alone. I can prove that people have been trying to attempt to hurt and harm me and trying to kill me for years. I can prove it and I can back it up. I can even prove I'm being gang stalked. This is what they will do to you out here. But once you speak up and you understand that these people are sex trafficking you. And yeah, I did talk about the outlaws and the Illuminati because they got a part in having people in the mix. And I can also prove that the FBI are paying teenagers to do their dirty work. I can prove all this. And I know the courts ain't going to take it too kindly. That I know what's going on with me. And this is ridiculous. And the one thing is that. I said police accountability. And the police showed me hostility. So both men put me to the ground. And come to find out they're laughing about it. So that kind of tells me right there that they were hurting me. I was not resisting arrest. I said it in my video. I'm not resisting stop hurting me. So they hurt me on my arm and then they hurt me on my face. And there was no reason for it. I did not fight the law. I did not resist arrest. I was not doing that. They were hurting me. And a lot of people cannot take back of what they do not understand. And there are people that are starting to wake up of what I am showing and what I am dealing with and what I am going through. I deserve to have the proper justice because... <sighs> There's going to be a point in time to where something is going to have to be done. And I do deserve justice to get this all to stop. This is why people who laughs at you, thinks you're crazy, whatever, 
is because they know that you know. And I've actually called out the police. I told them everything. I know what they're doing. I know who they got involved. I know there's corrupted police working with the Illuminati. I know there are people doing sex trafficking towards me. I can prove it. And it's proven in people's faces. I can prove that I'm not being left alone. And I can prove that I'm being bullied by the police. I can prove I'm being bullied. I'm being sex trafficked. There's people doing RICO acts. I can prove people are gang stalking me and doing an organization towards me. And just because I said police accountability... They got aggressive towards me. And there's about 12. I was swarmed. And I know there's people that are not down for these kids and what the officers did to me. There is no need for it. It's a fact of these cops are scared of me. They, they're scared of me. Because they know I understand fully of what people are doing towards me. And people have no clue. If they done their research to what I know and what I've heard stories from different people of how it works and what they're doing, people wouldn't be laughing. People wouldn't be sticking up for these people. If they actually done their research and understand it on their own. And this is the thing though. This is why people speaks up and the law got very aggressive towards me because I said police accountability. I called them out for being corrupted. That who's paying these kids and why are they being corrupted? And why are they pretty much allowing sex trafficking to go on? And that has to do with the category of gang stalking and organization. That is technically... Hunting down a person. That is pretty much making somebody's life miserable. They are pretty much making me a target to where I'll get killed and murdered. This is why I'm scaring most people. And some people are going to be shocked that I understand this fully. Of what people have done to me. And that's the thing though. Is that I have a right to stand my ground. And I do deserve to have justice. These cops have no right. To keep allowing corruption to keep going on. And they, they knew exactly what I was talking about. And half the time these cops were laughing at me. So that tells me right there. They know what I know. And they're just trying to laugh it off. Knowing that the higher ups can get involved and come to Crawfordsville, Indiana and put this to an end. Because there are some higher ups and federal, I'm talking about really high ups, finds out that I am being gang stalked and I can prove it. That people are trying to sex traffic me and I can prove that people have been trying to take me out, trying to kill me. They will step to Crawfordsville, Indiana. And they will have an investigation done. This is what people are afraid to speak upon. This is what I'm saying though. There's a lot of people who are encouraging these people to keep going on. And it's injustice. It's you're not really supposed to do that. You're not supposed to be constantly messing with someone. It is not normal. It's because they're getting paid. That is proof of gang stalking. That is proof of RICO acts. It is proof, uh, proof of organization. And it's proof that there's been sex traffickers coming after me and trying to start on me. This is not hidden anymore people are starting to wake up to what is going on this is corruption and i know the court system is not going to let people encourage people sex trafficking me they're not going to keep this keep going on 
this is the thing though. This can lead to people to have felony charges. This is very serious things that people are playing with. And I've watched some videos and they explained that for whoever's getting involved in these gang stalkers programs, they're also going to get locked up. They're also going to get serious charges. They're getting down the police. They're getting down on the FBI. They're getting down on the CIA. And I believe they would not like it if one of the higher-ups that are federal starts coming to Crawfordsville, Indiana to do an investigation, and then I could prove that someone did mention before the FBI is paying teenagers to stalk you, to harass you, nonstop. So there's a lot of people who should really do their research and understand that this is very serious. That these people do not understand what they're doing. So pretty much they're using teenagers to do their dirty work to get someone killed or murdered. That can be proven. And I have proof of what people have been doing to me. I can prove all this corruption. And I'm pretty sure the courts ain't going to like to hear this. But they're going to understand how serious this is. And that's not okay to do to a man or a woman. It's not okay. That's the thing though. And it can be also federal charges. These can be very serious charges against all these people who are paying these kids to come after me. Because they're doing somebody's dirty work. That's what it is. They're encouraging the sex trafficking to keep going on. That's not okay. And it's not. And then there's others not understanding of what I know about. They have no acknowledgement of what I know about. I speak up because I know it for a fact. Yes, and the Illuminati and the outlaws do have a part in this. So I know there's some bikers out there who are telling these kids to do their dirty work. And these type of people will come after you, but not understanding. Once this can actually be proven, I'm talking about a very serious high up, a higher up, will come down to Crawfordsville, Indiana. And they will do an investigation of why are they letting corruption go on? Why are they letting cops help these kids to get away with murder, pretty much? Why are they not stopping these behaviors? This is why people are fighting back. They're mad. They're upset. Because I called them out. And you know what? As a human being, as your rights, you do have a right to speak up. Because your life matters. These people literally think it's okay to toy with your life. These cops even admitted to me that they're corrupted. That they like to hurt people. They like to harm people for fun. They've admitted of working with the Illuminati too. That they were in a lab or something. So, yeah, I'm actually getting more truth that, yeah, e even the law system is even working with the Illuminati and most people. I can even back that up, too. This is what I'm saying, though. A lot of people don't know what they're saying because they don't want to do their research. Some people don't want to understand this. And this is a very serious level that the higher-ups from out of state can come to Crawfordsville, Indiana and do an investigation of why are they allowing this to go on. It's not normal for a human. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. It's not normal for people to constantly want to come at you, constantly try to fight with you, constantly trying to gang up on you. And these kids threatened to kill me 
if they see me out and about. That's not okay, too. And there's a lot of people not down for these kids. There's a lot of people not sticking up for them. Even though people understand what I did on my part was not okay. But everybody knows I'm going to stand for what is right. I will stand up for myself. And I do understand what is going on. I promise you, if people really done their research and really understood what I am talking about, and it's very serious, people have literally died from these people getting away with murdering you, and that's the whole point. They'll either try to get you so upset, they'll try to drive you nuts, that's one thing they try to do, so the reason why they try to drive you nuts is so that you'll you'll kill yourself or two if you don't then that's when they're going to try to come towards you physically and do it themselves and say it was self-defense i promise you there's nobody down with these kids there's a lot of people who understand that corruption there's a lot of things and i can back up and i can prove of what people have done to me in my whole life I can back it up. I can prove it. That I'm not being left alone. And also, when I go somewhere, one of them are on their bikes. They brought them all over to me. That's potentially trying to get me going. That's purposely provoking. And I know they were going to try to jump me. So that's what I'm saying though. These higher ups are not going to play with Crawfordsville, Indiana if they find out I keep speaking up upon this. Most people are afraid to speak up because they're not for sure. But I am 100% sure and I know what's going on. I've even done videos and it also goes with narcissistic abuse. Malignant narcissists. And then they try to abuse you in court. Just no one understand that. I understand what these people are doing towards me and it scares them. I've always said it. These gang stalkers are trying to make you fearful of them. No. They're fearful of me. And even the cops are intimidated by me. The gang stalkers are intimidated by me. But good question is. When are people actually going to stand up for the right and stop all this from going on? This is actually breaking the law. But for what they do, so pretty much people like me who stands up for the right and speaks the truth, we get hurt all the time. And they go scot-free. I promise you, a big higher up from out of state will come to Crawfordsville, Indiana and do an investigation of what I'm talking about. Because they're wanting to catch certain states doing this to people. It's not fair to people's families out here. That's actually what the gang stalkers are trying to do. They're trying to put the fear of God in you. But just know and understand that I know God's got it. I know my ancestors got it. I know everything's going to be okay. And I know that if a... I know if a... Uh, judge hears what I'm talking about and I know what's going on they're also going to understand too that th the judge can even go why are you letting this go on with this person why have you not stopped this and then they can go to a higher up out of state this can turn into an investigation do you know from them hurting me like that out of retaliation that there could be some really serious things that can go on. I'm not joking. And even there's good ones. Saying there was no need to put me on the ground. And for the two males. Who put me on the ground. They're laughing about it. By law. You cannot laugh. Upon what you've done to a person. That means you're corrupted yourself. You're not really big and bad. You're just showing the people. Of what I'm talking about is truthful around here. And most people are afraid to speak up. Because they're afraid this is going to happen to them. 
every time I spoke about the truth, I know, I know what the possibilities that can happen towards me. And I'm showing people the proof of what I'm talking about and what I'm stating. I'm doing stuff for a reason. This is why. And I think it's ridiculous. But just know and understand that a higher up can come to Crawfordsville, Indiana. And once they step in this town, people are going to be scared. They ain't going to know what to do. They're like, literally, these higher ups are going to get down people's throats. They're going to get tired of hearing me speaking upon this. And if they find out that I said police accountability and I said, you're breaking my rights and you just threw me to the ground for no reason, knowing I was not resisting because I said I wasn't. I said, stop hurting me. They hurt me two times. I got bruises on me to prove it, that I was brutally hurt by these cops twice i got bruises in different places on me mostly on my arms my face my chest where my boob is where my collarbones that's pretty bad the higher ups can do something about this Oh, yeah, my knees, too. I'm severely bruised up. And that's abuse of power. And just because I said police accountability, they got hostile towards me. And I said, why? I didn't fight them. I have a reaction to move my arm away because they were hurting me. And I told them, I'm not resisting. Stop hurting me. They hurt me two times. This is what gang stalking does to a human's life. You deal with a lot of things that's not normal. And the only way to get this taken care of is with the law system. But it's hard to find the correct ones who will help you in the correct way. Like I said, these higher ups are going to get tired of me speaking upon this. Eventually they are going to show up. To Crawfordsville, Indiana, and doing a very harsh investigation upon why are people trying to do this towards me? Why are people sex trafficking me? Why are people getting paid to try to mess with me? Why are people trying to take me out? They can get felony charges. They can even go to federal prison. And the FBI is already getting screamed at. The CIA is already getting screamed at. This is why people need to speak up. And since I've been speaking up and showing proof. People are waking up to what I am truthfully saying. And people are not blinded anymore. To what I am stating. And what I am showing. Even though. Most people. Most people understand. When you say police accountability, they got hostile towards me for no reason. And knowing they let these kids get away with sex trafficking me and gang stalking me, they don't do anything about it. I say police accountability because they didn't have a right to throw me down. They are allowing this to go on. They are killing people they are murdering people and they're setting you up to get killed that's why i am scaring most of these cops i'm scaring most of the people who are gang stalkers that's why some of them don't mess with me as much but these kids are dumb enough to keep doing it and eventually the higher-ups are going to find out where these kids live at and they're probably going to get arrested by the higher-ups and not give a crap and charge them very serious charges because people who thinks it's a joke and a game i promise you the higher ups don't see this as a game and a joke that you would get someone harmed hurt like this knowing that we pay the consequences while they go scot free it's not okay but just know and understand that i do have bruises on me and I do have a concussion for what they done to me.
and it's not okay. But like I said, I keep speaking up. I'm not kidding you. Like, these cops literally think the higher-ups will not show up in town. I bet you they will after hearing this. And I bet you a judge will get a hold of the higher-ups to get this not to happen to nobody else's family. This is why you should always, always try to protect and always stand up for the right. That's why you should do your research. So this does not happen to any of your loved ones. It is not easy for a person to deal with this. It's hard on a relationship because it hurts the partner's feelings. It hurts family members because they don't understand of what you do. Like I said, I understand what people are doing to me fully is not okay. It hurts your family, hurts your friends, and it hurts the one you're with. Because you know what is going on. But now that the cops are scared of me, intimidated by me, that's why. Because they know I understand fully what they are doing. And when you say police accountability, they got hostile towards me and started hurting me. And I told them, I'm not resisting. Stop hurting me. And I could prove that. And I said it too. I wasn't going to run away. You can't do that. But I didn't know I had 12 cops swarm around me. I didn't know that. But they didn't have to do that towards me. And I'm actually glad I got the proof. Because one of them said they never threw me to the ground knowing people seen it. I was thrown to the ground by two males. And they're laughing about it. I bet you the higher ups won't. I bet you once they show up, I bet you them two cops won't be laughing then. I know... What the gang stalking program is. I promise you the higher ups will show up to Crawfordsville, Indiana sometime soon. I don't know. I don't know when. But they will do a very serious investigation. That means they'll go to each cop one by one. And figure out which one's the one who's are corrupted. They will lose their jobs. And they will get federal charges. So just know and understand that. This is what happens when you deal with people doing this towards you. You have a hard time defending yourself. They allow abuse to happen towards you. And they let it go on. And I know a judge is not going to tolerate this either. And if they're mad enough, they will call the higher ups. And I know for a fact it's not good on my end, but I'm getting so tired of being gang stalked. Every time I go out and about, it's not normal. It's not normal. So I think people should look up of what I'm saying. Because these people are standing up for sex traffickers. They're standing up for murderers and killers. They are standing up for people who are doing money laundering they don't understand what they're sticking up for they don't know what they're laughing about they have no idea that they're pretty much allowing the illuminati to take people out and when you speak upon your truth and someone calls you crazy it's because they know what you're saying is the truth they don't want you to speak your truth once you speak your truth, like I kept saying it, these gang stalkers are trying to put fear in you, but truthfully, you're putting the fear in the people who are coming after you in a very bad way. This really hurts a person's life. It destroys a person's life for no reason. And there's people who are seeing, I am not the problem and I'm not the issue. Because I can prove it. Every time these kids come around me, I prove it. That they're purposefully coming around me and trying to start on me. And there's people who are not for these kids. They're not. Especially if they find out what they're truthfully doing. Especially if people hear about sex trafficking, they ain't going to be sticking up for these kids. Because that's what they're doing. 
and they keep going around town and hurting everybody and anybody. When are you going to stop these kids from hurting others out here? Like, I'm, I'm not joking. These kids are doing what they're doing because nobody's putting them in their place. Nobody's putting them in check. And that's where the problem is. They're literally going around town bullying people like crazy. Trying to pick fights with everybody. And they think they can get away with it. And then they want to run. That's not okay either. That you can't be going around town attacking everybody and anybody. Making them a target. You cannot be doing that. Because I know for a fact that's what they do. And they don't know that, that I know that. The court system is not going to like <laughs> what I'm saying. It's not the fact of what I'm saying they're not going to like. It's the fact of they're going to know I understand what serious stuff they are doing. Even the law would have to step in. They would be investigated. The cops would be investigated. It would be like an investigation. I can prove what I'm speaking upon is true. And those kids would have a really bad day. Because some people think, oh, you're just crazy. No. It's a fact of people are waking up. To what I am speaking upon. There are people that are not blinded. There are people. Who will stand up for the right. There are people. Who will do the right thing. And I know. There's going to be people. Who will fight against. Sex trafficking. That means they're hunting you down. They're doing stuff to you. Constantly. Always remember this. These kids are not going to get away with what they've done. And when it comes to the courts and they hear my video and people hear what I'm talking about, they're going to take this very seriously. And they're not going to take it kindly to what I am saying because the court system knows exactly what I'm talking about. They know there's some corruption. Very bad corruption around here. I called it out. And these cops were laughing in my face. When I confronted them. And even. When I was upset. What I was saying. All of them were trying to laugh. That will also be investigated too. And even the higher ups. Are going to look at them and go. What's so funny. Because the higher ups don't play. With corrupted people out here. So it's going to have to take someone from out of state to come to Crawfordsville, Indiana to get this stuff to calm down or stop. Because I don't want nobody getting hurt like this anymore in town. And nobody's not going to stop these kids. And this is a problem. I deserve justice. I didn't deserve this. I didn't even ask for this. And this is what they want my life to be. And that's freely taking away my life. It's not their life, it's my life. So like I said, what I talk about is very serious. And I've been showing people proof for a good while. I can prove all those times I've been bothered by these kids. And they're mad about it. So they're going out here. And trying to pick fights with everybody and anybody in town. When are you going to stop these kids from screwing with everybody and anybody? You know, they're going to end up hurting someone. And then that's going to have to be on your conscience. That one of these times, these kids are going to pick a fight with someone. They're really going to hurt someone. And knowing that these kids threaten to kill me and to jump me. If they see me out and about. I would really love the higher-ups to come to Crawfordsville to get this to stop. Because I don't want nobody else getting bullied. I don't want nobody else to get hurt. Because the cops can't seem to do their jobs correctly out here anymore. This is not a normal life to live. 
And once you call out the corruption, that's when they're scared of you. They're intimidated by you, not you intimidated by them. They're scared of you. And I've called it out. Because you know the head games. You look up your stuff. This is why I'm saying though. Always protect your loved ones. Make sure. If there's anything going on. Make sure you do not ignore. What is going on. These kids are. Making people targets. And they are attacking people in this town. Constantly. Every day. Every night. Every day. And it's going to have to take the higher ups to from out of state to come to Crawfordsville to get these kids to stop. And to get these cops to do their jobs correctly. Because one of these times, these kids are going to get somebody killed by the police. If the higher ups do not step in and get something done. But this is all I got to say. Just know and understand that. God knows all and sees all. Just know and understand nobody's down with these kids. They're not. There's not going to be a lot of people going to stick up for these kids. Of what I just spoke about right now. That's going to be very seriously looked into. And no, this is not a game. This is not a life joke. And these kids think it's a game and a joke. By making people a target. And hunting people down. Trying to beat them up. Trying to kill them. Threatening they're going to kill me. I don't take that too kindly. Some's going to have to take something to give. It's probably going to have to take people from out of state to come down here. So nobody else gets hurt. These kids are not going to stop. These cops ain't going to do anything for us. It's going to have to take a higher up out of state. Who is really going to get down people's throats. This is not okay. To make somebody live in misery. Make them feel in pain. And trying to make it to where somebody's life's miserable. A higher up will know how to deal with these type of kids. And they ain't going to like it. Once a higher up keeps hearing it, hearing it over and over again. The higher ups will come to Crawfordsville and get these kids to stop. All the corruption will stop the sex trafficking. Will stop the gang stalkers. Stop everything. It's going to have to take the higher ups. From out of state to come to Crawfordsville, Indiana and do something about this. So that we don't get hurt by the police anymore. Or with police hostility. Just because I said police accountability. They got aggressive and hostile in police brutality towards me. Because of what I said and it's the truth. They let these kids get away with everything. They let these kids get away with murder. And they're not doing anything about it. Stop it. And these kids constantly go around and mess with people every day. And people are getting tired of it. So that's what I'm saying, though. The cops won't do anything about it. So it's going to have to take a higher up to do it. I'm not talking about the sheriff. They'll be above the sheriff. Sheriff can't do nothing then. It takes a certain brave souls out here to talk about this stuff. And there's a lot of people who are scared to have this courage because they don't want something like this happening to them. But just know and understand that people are not blinded anymore to what I'm talking about and what I'm showing proof upon. It's not. So people for laughing... You're encouraging the sex traffickers? I don't know what to tell you. Because then you're just like them. You're a sex trafficker. You're just like them. You ain't no better as an individual when you're sitting there laughing. Of knowing somebody's trying to kill a person off this earth for the FBI and the CIA's dirty doing. You ain't no better out here. Just know and understand that. This is very serious topics. Just keep keep your family safe. 
and no one understand that. I know I'm okay. I know God's got my back. I know everything's going to be okay. Just know and understand that. This is why they're mad at me. This is why they're intimidated by me. And that cop got big-eyed because I confronted them. I was talking to them freely about what I understand what is going on. They did not like it. These cops do not like me speaking up about the truth. That's why some of them got hostile towards me and put me to the ground. Because when you say police accountability, they're no better when they want to, when two men wants to take a woman to the ground over because of police brutality, they ain't no better. And these two cops are laughing about this situation. They ain't no better. The boys in blue have forgotten their oath to protect. And what these two policemen done to me was abuse. It was. And I know the higher ups don't like police officers getting violent towards women like this either. Because if they would have gone further or if something would have happened to my nose where it would have went up, they could have killed me for what they done to me. So that's why I said police accountability. Always look out for yourselves. Look out for the signs. And if you see somebody that's in trouble, try to help them out because you can save a life out here. And if you can save a life, then that means you can save others from not being in a predicament like this. Yeah, is it crappy? Yeah. But just know and understand that. That's why they're mad, they're ticked off, they're pissed off, because I called them out. Because I know what they're doing. And they know what they're doing is wrong, but the good ones understands what I'm talking about. And the good ones will not do this to you. It's the newbies who likes to get nasty with you when they didn't have to. And there's people saying there was no reason for them to take me down like that. It was two male police officers. They were hurting me. And I was not resisting arrest. I told them to stop hurting me. And I was swarmed by them too. While they let these kids roam around get away with murder. I bet you that's going to change. Once the higher ups step up in town. But I'm going to go on to get off of here. I just thought I would say that real quick. I know God's got this. He knows all and sees all. I do deserve justice. Because what happened was injustice. It was unjustified. Just because they got mad. This is what they'll do to you. They will think they can hurt you. And laugh about it. Just know and understand that. That's not okay either. But I'm going to go on to get off of here. Hope you guys have a lovely day. Stay safe out there.